Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Hallie Ade. What's up? What's poppin'? I am so excited to be bringing you all an updated tattoo video. So when I first recorded this, I had about um, I had seven tattoos, but now I have 10. So I'm excited to show you all. Um, for the most part, like what I'll do is I'll talk about what they are. I may show like a hint and I'll, I'll just feature the actual like comprehensive video of the tattoo so you can see more details. So yeah, I'm so excited to be doing this. Um, I wrote about this in my book in I think the second to last chapter, I'm looking at my book up there, about how once upon a time, like I was anti-tattoos and like that's what I that's what I always heard in the church. I was and like MFM, no, 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 Exodus, you know, you know the verse. But as I grew my personal relationship with God, one thing I don't do is do something and not be like, hey, G you on the top, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so this is my personal journey with God, my personal decision to get tattoos, piercings, what have you. And I'm definitely here for breaking the stigmatiz stigmatization about professionalism and tattoos. Um, I remember my roommates and I in um, college, well, I'm still in college, but <laughs> first semester we were talking about the fact that people often look down on tattoos, but mind you, tattoos are not cheap. So what? Anyways, it's a sign of affluence to me, but um, that I digress on that point. Moving on, I definitely am here for the idea that what I have on my body does not determine what I have up here and the work that I'm able to do. So next. Let's hop into this video. I really hope you all have been doing well. I promise I'll be bringing more content your way. I was talking to my lovely roommate, Gloria. You already know what's happened to I, Gloria. And we were just talking, like in the beginning of the year, we had vision goals, we had vision boards on Pinterest for our content. And then the fact is, I'm not shying away from the fact that I do desire to be a bomb content creator. I desire to be a bomb content creator, one that somebody can look up to and say, I love her content. I want to not even be like her. I want to do something like her, but greater, because that's what I do. I look at other people and I'm like, I want to do what they're doing 10 times greater. So anyways, let me hop into this video and stop chat, man, and stop rap, man. Y'all know what type of content y'all came here for. Moving on. So, um... Let's get into it. So I'll tell you the tattoo, what it is, and what inspired it, and yeah, we move. Okay, so first one, I wanted to go in order of what I got them, but maybe, okay. So my first tattoo is this, you will get a video later. So this is my first tattoo, it has my little brother's name, my little brother's name is Malik, and it has a sickle cell heart. So this was my first tattoo, I got it in 2017 or 18, I believe, and my younger brother has sickle cell, and I believe um, that we need more awareness around sickle cell, especially seeing that it is a disease that affects a lot of minorities. Um, so yeah, I love my little brother, he is my heart, and he's my pride and joy, all my siblings are my pride and joy, so that is my first tattoo i do plan on getting i remember my older brother once asked like are you gonna get everybody else i'm like yeah of course it's, it's just gonna take time i do plan on getting a tattoo here or somewhere else that um for my other my for my two sisters so i was thinking of like h squared three but we'll, we'll, we'll think about that later moving on that was my first tattoo then it was um one on my anklets no anklets my ankle the next tattoo is on my ankle. You all won't be able to see it right now, but I'll, I'll post, you know, put, I'll insert. It is a garden. It's a garden of wildflowers. So my favorite verse, one of my favorite verses in the Bible is when God says you don't have to worry. Even the flowers don't worry, nor the birds worry. Um, and for me, it's just so significant that I always remind myself that everywhere I walk into, everywhere I step into, I will never have to worry because God is with me. And then second of all, I consider myself a wildflower. If you know me, you know sometimes some things are not hop right they're not hop right well hop here and that's by the grace of god <laughs> it's okay we move i am a wildflower i embrace it i've embraced it since my middle school years when my best friend at the time called me flamboyant and i was like yeah that's me okay moving on that was my second tab i got it summer 2019 um and then i'll just we'll just start going because i can't even remember the order oh okay i think i do my next tat was this butterfly so this is a butterfly and the reason why i got a butterfly is because of the idea of metamorphosis and also there's a maya angelo quote i will probably quote it correctly here but it 
paraphrasing, basically says we delight at the joy of a butterfly, but we do not pay attention to how we got there, or we do not acknowledge the fact they got there, or we're not aware of how we got to become a butterfly. As you know, butterflies go through some stages that are not pretty, they're ugly, um, before it's grand a beauty. Um, so I definitely just appreciate that because I know in my life I go through phases of birthing and rebirthing, birthing and rebirthing, the ugly, the good, the bad. And you know, you may see me when, by the grace of God, I'm making 300K, but you won't know how we got there, but it's okay because it was it was a whole process. You know, you get, I think I explained that right. Moving on. Y'all, I'm just so excited to be in front of the camera recording for y'all. Y'all don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. So the I got two tattoos the day of. I went with my other roomie, Faith. Y'all, me and Faith were knuckleheads. So I got a dove right here. You all won't be able to see it. Oh, it's my deodorant, y'all. Anyways, I have a dove right here. Again, I'll insert a comprehensive video of that um, dove or detailed video, I guess. Uh, it is a dove. So the Bible verse that I refer to for the dove is be as wise as a serpent and as soft as a dove. In this life, you have to move with with wisdom and you also have to recognize when to pick your battles and when to not um, fight. So I just attribute that idea of just wisdom and knowledge and understanding um, navigating life room spaces challenges with the dove i want to get it doesn't have a serpent around it but i've been thinking about the fact that i do want to complete that saying in bible verse so i do want to go back and insert a dove there i mean a, a serpent around it there sometime soon but we'll get to that when we get to that moving on if i'm talking too fast forgive me okay moving on we go into the tattoos i got last summer i got three of them in one day this, I got this, this is, uh, you know, <laughs> this is a light bulb. What inspires this is my passion for educating, my passion for teaching. Um, there's this quote that says, teachers touch um, lives, teacher touch the hearts of eternity, teacher touch lives that last eternity, teacher impacts lives for eternity, teacher impact lives for eternity. It, I'll insert the quote, but it's just the idea that um, knowledge is power. Like that, I I always want to see a child have that light bulb. For me, I've always appreciated the light bulb going off. I'm like, oh, I've always just loved that feeling, and especially as a learner who loves learning, I aspire for all my kids when they walk into the classroom to just know that this is a place where their mind will be nurtured, their mind will be taken care of, from, their creativity will be nurtured, who they are their essence will be nurtured um what they bring to the table will be nurtured so i just i just love it because without great teachers like the world wouldn't be where it is right now and the world will not be where it's going to be okay okay <laughs> so i definitely just i just love educating and hit, um touching the heart you know nelson mandela said uh what is the wow look at that knowledge is wow i'm blanking i'm blanking Education is the most powerful tool. <laughs> Education is a powerful weapon to change the world. It is something like that, you guys. It's Wednesday, but it's Friday. I'm blanking, but it's okay. You, I will insert the, I will insert the quote. Everything just knows quotes, but it's old age that's doing me right now. Moving on, I digress. So the next time, oh, I had also got this one in the same day. So this is a cross that says grace because his grace is sufficient enough for me. Whew, it's that simple. If not for his grace, where would I be? You get. <laughs> so then the next one that I had gotten that day is this one. This says, it's a semicolon and it says, but God. I also will tag all the tattoo artists that has ever done my tattoo because if I don't put them on and you don't go support them, what am I really doing? Exactly. Anyways, this says, but God, um, semicolon, but God, because it's self-explanatory but God in this life, but God, still I rise because of God, but God, still I rise. You, you get, you get. So now, um, after that, for my birthday this year, I gifted myself with two more, three more. I gifted myself with three more. Um, so there's one on my spine. I thought that was ashy. There's one on my spine. You won't be able to see all that well. I will insert a video. So my spine tattoo has, it says resilience. So it's a flower resilience. Ever, every time like I go through a program and I get um, a specific 
critique or feedback it's always my resilience and even i have noticed it myself i'm very resilient it's like i don't even take no for an answer i take no for an answer but i recognize that there's always a way but there's a will there's a way um even if I fall, I rise back up. There's one thing about me, I will not, I refuse to stay down. So I definitely, I admire that as a strength within me. I always want to just continue to show my resilience whenever challenges and opposition arise. So resilience, like it's my backbone. You get, you get resilience is my backbone. That's why it's on my spine actually. So the next two that I have moving on is Carpe Diem. So Carpe Diem, you know, I'm actually gonna go into this last because I just finished it off with that. This is this is red ink. I was so skeptical with getting red ink because I don't think it would show up on my body and I almost was right, literally, but you can see it. It says now, um, it's in an analog like clock type work, you know, because it's the power of now. I always, I that's if there's one thing about me, that's what I talked about when I did a tech talk. The power of now is so pivotal because now is all we have. I cannot plan, I can plan for 10, five years from now and God forbid I don't see five years from now because that's not God's plan for me. But what am I gonna do today? What am I gonna do now? How am I gonna make today count? Which leads me to Carpe Diem. I tell you everything is a story and I'll tell you at the end. Carpe Diem for me is seize the day. If all this, all I have is now, I have to seize the day, you know? I have to seize the day and I talk about this a lot. Like 2020, I lost more people close to me. Like death had been foreign to me prior to 2020. And I just always thought people lived forever. So naive of me, right? But at the end of the day, when I just realized like, yo, people my age are dying left and right. I always knew that, but I didn't process it. So for me, it was just so important to seize the day every each day. Like I don't want to go out this world um, and not, not, not live life. Like I want, by the grace of God, I know this is not this is about to turn dark real quick, but anyways, at my obituary, my, my say that she lived life. She lived life to the fullest. Cause I sure did. By the grace of God, when when I it's time to go, I sure did live life to the fullest because every day I seize the day. Okay? <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all loved the tattoo stories that I gave you and why I got it. Um, I will insert the people who did my tattoos in this video. I definitely want you to go and support them. If you're a tattoo person, go and support them, you know. And all of my tattoo artists are black creatives. I love that. <laughs> like literally, I love that for the most part. I'm very cognizant and aware and specific because I do want black people doing my black ink on my black body. Jeez. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all go support the lovely tattoo artists that have done my ink. I will continue to add more ink and I will continue to update you all. Stay tuned, stay blessed. I love you all.